Welcome back everybody, I'm Kiralis and this is the next episode of Anno 2205, so just sit back, relax and enjoy. I'm still in love with all those like little small animations. There's so much to see and it's pretty cool. Anyhow, on today's episode we do have a cool assignment on the agenda, enter the Arctic region. And I think we're gonna build a base over there, but before we take care of that, I wanna do this. In this aeroplane here sits my Tian. So, is your project done yet? No, not really. And what my Tian wants us to do is a little collab project on this dam, which means if I agree to that, I'm gonna get 1000 energy in this sector. And that's gonna be pretty amazing because what I can do here, for example, this here I can just close down for now. See, because we have an energy surplus of 655 and that's not really needed at this current stage, it's just a waste of money. And if we complete my Tian's uh, assignments, I think we can even close that down and get almost 1000 credits per tick. Oh yeah baby, look at that, we are negative 545 plus 1000 so we're gonna be like 450 on the plus side, on the surplus. So you know what, let's just do this and I did ask you guys. And most of you were like, do it! So, let's see what this brings us. It seems you value efficiency. So do I. Mm hmm Why not combine resources? Information like this would benefit both of us. So we have assignments. Step 2 out of 5. Maintain a workforce balance in Wolbrack Basin. So that is in my city, in this region, right? So that means what? Hmm. So maintain that for almost 5 minutes and we're on the surplus. Since I'm not gonna really touch anything here, I don't think that's gonna drop. So if I just zoom in here, for example, and then just do a little speed up job. 10, 9, 8. I'm just kidding. You do good work. We did it! So that was 2 out of 5, Why right? Why not combine resources? Information like this would benefit both of us. Attach Lei Shang sensor drone to your command ship. Follow this drone signal and collect turbulence causing rock. Bring the objects collected to my Tian's plane. What? Say what? Is that the drone? Lei Shang sensor drone. Alright, so let's just attach that and see how this works out. We need to have seven rocks collected. Okay, it's moving. It's moving. It's not really moving. Oh, follow the drone signal. So, what does that mean? Does it mean this way? Underway. No, changes the mind. Is that it? Well, this was easy Underway. peasy, lemon squeezy. Well, maybe not, but it's gonna be pretty boring. Seven pieces. Holy Ordinance crap! Confirmed. There we go. One more. <laughs> Well, this is kind of boring. I don't, I don't want to bore there. you guys to death. So, you know what? Let's just do a little skip job on this. Because, I mean, I don't think there's going to be any diversity in this whatsoever. It's just going to be this. On our way. Where's the next part? Here? So, that is the last turbulence causing rock. So, now it's back to my Tian's plane. And then what? This is step three out of five. Your project was a success. Thank you. Excellent. Home office today. I have a job for you. Well, I figured out that. Maintain our utilization of energy in Walburg Basin. So we can't drop below 500, I guess, for five minutes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, it is what it is, everybody. Take a peek at my city. Isn't that beautiful? Speed up job. Incoming. Mm -hmm. 10, 9, 8. I'm just kidding. Speed up job. You do good work. We did it. Why not combine resources? Information like this would benefit both of us. Load your vehicle with 50 biopolymers from your spaceport. Deliver the cargo to my Tian's plane. She's a very, very demanding lady, I guess. So from here, is this my spaceport? Yes, it is. So let's just go here. And this is so cool. Take a peek inside here. Like, I mean, they didn't really have to do stuff like that, but they even added like people on the inside just moving about and doing their daily routines are you fishing <laughs> it looks so awkward by the way but hey it is what it is let's just be happy about it
No, I love it. I love it. I think that level of detail is just mind blowing. They just speed this up. Let's bring in those bipolymers. So let's see here. Pick up container. Bam. So close, but yet so far away. Am I transferring him? There it is. Our first dam. Standing tall and operating smoothly. But we won't settle for one, right? Uh, no. I want to do more, I guess. Well, that is cool. Uh, where did you go? My Tian. Is that it? Can we do more, my Tian? Come on. Full speed ahead. Because, I mean, if we can kind of... Can I do all of them? We have one, we have two, and we have a third part here. If every single one is 1k energy, Affirmative. I'm gonna be good for life, I guess. But we won't be satisfied with one, am oh, I correct? Oh, reach corporation level of 10 is ready. to start the construction of the second dam. Which level am I? I'm level 5. Well, that's gonna take a while, I guess. But yeah, so now what we can do is, you can see, we have a surplus of 1,355. So that means I can close that down. And look at my money income. So we have 2,466 per tick coming into the city. I, I think we're pretty good. And yeah, we're doing fairly decent. I'll be checking the stats here around the city. And we're doing pretty good. We have a surplus on a lot of stuff. We have no negative values on anything else. So I'm hoping the peeps here will survive. And I'm also hoping I can get back to this sector whenever I can feel like it. I just don't know. But here we go. And we do have the new transfer route option here. Which means I can trade from my sector to this guy, which is the world market. That's God. Up on the space station thingy. Arctic. Alright, I see. Arctic region goods, credit flanchation, global employee count. Can I trade with people? <laughs> Slave trader Kiralis, I love it. Well, I guess not. Here is Sam. Here is John. Oh, he. Dogs! I found us, did you? Here's where all the little ships come from. <laughs> little happy ships. It's also where they get repaired or improved. Just give the order. Alright, so I don't really want to do anything here. This is external resources. Get a rare materials with the anode, blah, blah, blah. Asteroid miner. Or for Ubisoft Club actions. Okay, and this is the council. You really want to make a difference? Mysterious woman. She doesn't have a name. She's just a mysterious lady. So we have Eminem, <laughs> Mighty Anne, Luca Volodin, Aiden, and Eleanor. And they trade with different stuff, I guess. Current effects. Ew. So, oh. Cassian Industries, building a solid base today hmm. from which we can soar into the future together. So that means like Eminem got the most votes and he's got some benefits like construction costs minus 10%, global market prices minus 10%. If you'd vote for a bar of Foxcom, that would help fund my studies. Oh, you're so annoying though. What is that? You will receive rare materials by voting for them. <gasps> it's a bribe! And I'm corrupt. Credits, 50k iridium. Is one of our most basic instincts and our greatest tool. But then again, let me just the see the benefits. Enables. That only that's only gonna give me global market market prices minus 10%. This guy is gonna give me 10 modules. Construction comes minus 10% and global market prices minus 10%. Lei Xing stands poised on the threshold to space. Oh my god. Adequate compensation for an adequate decision. Democracy ho. <laughs> they just Update call me a ho. List of achievements. <laughs> I love it. Alright, so I did get some credit. I might have just done the, the worst choice ever. And I haven't I haven't found any save and load button in this game, by the way. And Let's be careful. go. As far as we know, the orbital watch has overtaken most of the LEC's colonies. Up there, you'll be on your own. Thank you, Sam. Uh, we have a project for logistics. We have a project of rare materials and ornamentals. Does that mean bushes and stuff? You know how much I love stuff like that. Logistics, rare materials, bushes. I'm sure you guys are watching different let's plays of this game, and I'm I'm sure nobody's picked the bushes. Maybe they have. I'm gonna do the bushes. Welcome to phase two of the lunar licensing program. You are now authorized to enter the Arctic region and access its deposits of rare resources to implement new means of galactic travel. Your official contact person will give you more information. Okay. 
So what now? Uh, up, up, and away? A hundred years ago, this was all water. But the custodian's climate stabilization technology created a new Arctic biosphere here. I'm Dr. Howard Young. I speak for the Arctic custodians. First, allow me to be clear. We expect you to abide by our directives at all times. The Arctic ecosystem is very delicate. Respect these rules and we'll get along just fine. Okay. Not exactly a warm welcome. Why is let's this? just proceed with phase two. We need Arctic resources for rocket construction, so we have to establish a base of operations on one of these islands. It's whales and whatnot. And this is wolf packs. Do we have any polar bears? I don't know. Okay, let me just see this. So All we right. can choose. Time to make so many improvements. <laughs> Shut up, shut up, John, shut up, shut up, shut up. So we can choose from those two islands. There is a polar bear. Look at this majestic creature. And I'm gonna pick this island because we have a bear here. And also a balloon. <laughs> I don't know what that balloon is though, but... It seems fairly legit, so let's pick this island. So, ship, you go Set up your new here. location wherever you want. All of the islands are suitable. All right, so. Yo, sorry my colleagues are kind of giving you the cold shoulder. Billy Jorgensen, nice to meet you. I run a trading post here, but business, yeah, just consider dropping by, okay? Please. If you build a distribution center here, I can officially sign the island over to you. It is absolutely incredible that the people don't want to shut up in this game. Is this Villa ba is Villa's base? Come on in and chill a bit. Okay, so Villa is is like Nick Papalopoulos on the other sector, right? So they're just a trader. Let's set up this claim site. the acquisition of this island, you earned the mining rights for this area. The Arctic custodians will watch you like a hawk from now on. Their directives are strict, but you should adhere to them while building up your basic infrastructure. The heating standards alone will be a challenge. You're hanging behind. <laughs> Shut up, everybody. What is this, by the way? King and get protect, protect current rate. Is that just a map name or something? I don't know. Doesn't matter. We are here and we can construct things. Let me just see. We can build Arctic dwellings and roads. <laughs> That's about it. But can we do the same as we did in the previous uh, base or sector? Can we just build a little boulevard or avenue? Um, let me just see here. What's going on here? Is you a double road? No. Like this, for example. That kind of looks like a double road, but it's not. And then take this out. And oh no, the polar bear is gonna eat my peeps. Doesn't matter. Let's build one, two, Thanks. and Very this. Livable. If you don't mind the cold. Construction of new building types possible. Uh, they seem to be freezing their nuggets off over here. And then he slipped and fell right on his. Look at those little Eskimos. No, you can't say Eskimo because that's offensive, I guess, in some countries like Canada. I think. So let's call them Inuits. Damn, it's cool. This is cool. Analyses show unfulfilled demand for no specific commodities. On vitamin drinks. Well, you just have to deal with it. But I'm just thinking, what is that guy? Access to heat source insufficient. Can we build any like heat source for me? Oh! I see. So this circle here, which we got, is the heat circle. Question is, do the buildings have their own heat circle? They do. And what is that? That's a cannery. So what if, people, Trial and error. Let me just do something like this. Let's move this house up here. Let's move that to here. And let's build one more. Surround that with a road. Like a professional builder. And add one of those canneries. Can I squeeze that in somehow here? Yes, I can, sorry. And connect it to the road. Will that give heat to the people? It does. So let's build 
a fishing Oops, I've spilled it. harbor thingy. And there's a site for it here. I'm loving it. Well, hopefully you guys enjoy it. fish in my life. The polar regions are the only places on Earth where you can still find it in harvestable quantities. You haven't missed out. Fish are gooey. They're like me. And there's a little supply drop of metal foam. And metal foam. And metal foam. And more metal foam. <laughs> Loving it. Let's just check out this little model we got going. So all the fishes, they come out here. They go down into this little thingy. And up on the conveyor belt they go. And this guy is just cheering on random events. Then they go into can type of things here. And they get packed into those boxes. And then what? It's better than yours? Say what you want, but the models of everything are just absolutely fantastic. So what is the objective? A build and connect 10 arctic dwellings and produce metal foam. So let's do the mine. How do you do metal foam by the way? You construct that from aluminum it seems. So let's put down one here. And once again everybody this is trial and error. First of all let me just build more housing, housing units here. Don't judge me. I might run out of stuff, but so far so good. And also, can I squeeze in this compression chamber? Here. Like this. Are you freezing? Nope. Everybody's good. Then connect that to the road. Fine. Your settlement seems to follow our regulations well enough. You are permitted to continue the expansion of your spaceport within reasonable limits. Thank you, Dr. Howard. Well, that's exactly what's on the agenda right now. The orbital watch is still threatening the Union trade routes. You have to establish your own shipping docks at the spaceport. Okay, so let me just see spaceport here. What is needed? So we just need 50 people and then we can upgrade to the next stage. Alright, I see. But I still want to kind of figure this out first of all. So that's the cannery factory. So they produce canned fish or canned goods. And we can upgrade that with modules. A canning conveyor belt. Well, that is kind of humongous, so I'm going to leave that be for now. We can always move a house or stuff late in a later stage. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Drone hive, there's a workforce. Energy maintenance. How much does it cost? I can afford those. It doesn't really do much on the power situation, though. That's the only problem. But anyhow, trial and error. That was pretty cool. This can be upgraded as well. Energy maintains minus 10%. We can do the workforce maintenance on this guy, for example. Just to try it out. Because we can afford that. Kinda-ish. Damn, this is awesome. This is awesome. But then again, we are still lacking on the food department. So maybe we should build one more cannery. So let's just go... Hausen... Uh, what am I missing? Oh, metal foam. Oh, crapper. Don't fear, people. I've got the supply drops. Where are you? <laughs> Easy mode. Activated. That's only five, though. Why is you? There's one more polar bear. Well, this place ain't too shabby. We do have the balloons, which I kind of need to figure out what they do. We have whales over here. And I'm not talking about whales like the country with the longest name in history. Whales like the mammals in the sea. Just checking out the surroundings, everybody. Looking for metal foam. Damn, I like this. Even though there's, there's a lack of bushes here. Alright, so let's see. Uh, we can build more housing, more dwellings. This is like this. And one more cannery, I guess, would be the most ideal thing to do here. Because we're lacking that. Bam, bam, bam. And we still need more metal foam. So what we should maybe do is maybe, maybe, baby, baby, upgrade our little factory we've got going here. Uh, I mean the mine. What does this require to upgrade? We also need a transport company. Oh, look at this. Your Arctic settlement is growing at a steady pace. Um, the staff requirements crap. for your spaceport shipping docks should be met by now. 
So since that factory is kind of on the pause now, because we are lacking, uh, lacking stuff like uh, transportation, I need to pause this for a little brief moment until we can build up the metal foam so I can build a transport company, I guess. And there's no more metal foam around anywhere. But take a peek at this guy. It's kind of like a little spider thing going on here. And then we see a mountain. I'm amazing at this game. Well, that was pretty decent. How's the metal foam department doing? We're still lacking one metal foam, and that's it. Perfect. What is that, by the way? Geothermal turbines. That's for energy production. All right, I see. Let's see, where can we put you? I can still improve that system. Sure for now. Just a little fine calibration. Um, haven't I done that already, John? Haven't I upgraded that thingy? Add automated modules to factories to reduce the, their energy realistic workforce. I've done that already. Please do abort that mission. Thank you. That needs to be resumed. And we are up and running, everybody. Although the logistics company they don't really output any any like heat zone around them, so that kind of sucks a little bit. Huh. So what was the objective event? Fifty people produce metal foam. I'm pretty good on everything, I guess. We have set up the base. We have everything needed here. What is that though? Molydenium mine. That unlocks soon. We also unlock this, which. <gasps> This is the thing which produces the neuro implants. That is something we needed in the other city to make him happy. And we also have a community center that upgrades very shortly. But yeah, this is pretty nice looking. Let me know what guys if you have any suggestions when it comes to bases. Because what I'm doing, I'm recording kind of like, I'm not doing like a bulk recording session. I'm recording usually just one episode. Then I kind of go through the comments, suggestions from you guys, and then I kind of build off from there. Nah, but this, this, is, this is pretty cool. I am loving it. I'm just waiting for the metal foam, and that's gonna take a while. Well, not really, because we can just grab it here on the other side. <laughs> that's... I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but... Well, it's a supply drop now, isn't it? So it's just, just pick it up and be super happy about it. But it does seem a little bit cheaty, though. There's nothing else here. And we do need two metal foams for each dwelling. But don't, don't, don't judge this. Because what I really want to do is one more metal chamber over here. Or a compression chamber. And that's going to compress more. And the next thing we could do is maybe upgrade the, the mining facility itself. And what does the requ it require to upgrade? Uh, we are lacking some power. So we need to build that turbine station as well. So don't worry about that. We got this. Uh, pause just for a brief moment until the energy production is up and running. To upgrade that, just metal foam. But also, it does require no. It requires something here, some yellow, yellowish. I don't know what that is. It requires something else, which I don't really have at this current state, so I can't really upgrade that. But as thinking. Let's add one of those bad boys as soon as we got five metal foams. And that's gonna produce more energy, which means I can This building plot is <laughs> at your disposal. Thank you. But don't overdo it. Uh, Dr. Howard, I've got this, buddy. So don't you don't you worry, just call me titties. You're worse than Adam. Let's just build it here and of course connect it with the road. So that it will produce extra energy. The money situation is pretty good still. We're still on the surplus on the money, so. As long as, as long as we don't drop below and go negative on that, that, everything should be fine. There we go, one more dwelling. So now they are producing stuff, and they should be producing stuff. And we need to figure out... We need to, well, we need to figure, figure out how do we require... How we can upgrade. New blueprints ready Thank for you. Implementation. How do we acquire the yellowish thing? Is it this? No. I don't know, we're gonna figure that out. And how is that looking though? Damn. 
Well, it ain't looking too shabby, I tell ya. Warning: unfulfilled demand for specific consumer products. Low on near this implants. This place doesn't provide much variety, but hey. Huh. So I see. So as you can see here, like, sorry, this is my third episode. I'm still learning the game. But they are really happy with the canned food. They are like, yeah, canned food is the best food ever. Then the vitamin drinks, they don't have anything. And I don't think we can do any vitamin drinks because we, don't, we haven't unlocked the factory module. So that means we would I need to trade. That system. Just a little fine John, calibration. I'm going to punch you in the face. Please be quiet. So what we need to do is make a trade route between this and this. Like, Can I do that now? No, I don't think I can. Spaceport expansion level too low. Oh, we haven't upgraded that. That is something we can do, I guess. Let me just go spaceports. Bam. So what's the what? Uh, the yeah. climate. Earth barely healed wound. Let's see what happens when I braid it. Warning: Climate stabilizer network producing weather anomalies. External manipulation detected. Systems not responding. Stabilization values approaching critical level. They have the whole climate stabilizer network under their control. You are responsible for this. <laughs> it's the lunar licensing program that brought those terrorists here. Consider our support suspended and keep out of our affairs. So I guess it's my fault for reasons unknown. I just want to check out polar bears. Yo, don't listen to them. Man, we got nothing to counter these attacks. Jorgensen is right. We have to interfere. Official admission or not. Enact a hacking counterattack against the Orbital Watch's jamming stations. Or destroy them, if you must. Hey. So if I complete that mission... Spaceport expansion process. <laughs> and I'm... Oh, calm your titties down. So if I complete this mission, I'm gonna acquire those things which are needed for upgrading this. And they are called petrochemicals. And I don't really have them at this current stage. And I can't upgrade that either. It's 99% completion, but we need the petrochemicals for that as well. So the only thing I need to do, well, the only thing I can do is just do the mission to get the to get the petrochemicals. But that is something I'm gonna do in the next episode, I think. And I need to ask you guys about this, right? I can build stuff like this. It's amazing. Is it because a mountain building side? What is it though? It's a mine. Okay, so I can build it here. I'm going to do it, just to check it out. But, you know how the naval battles, we've seen that in the, was it the previous episode we did some naval battling? And I don't, I'm not sure that it's so exciting to watch on camera. <laughs> Look at this little derp running about. Damn. Well, that looks pretty, pretty legit. That looks pretty legit. Um, Look, I'm no good with guns. Mind taking the field for me? <laughs> Villa, come to this. I'm not sure you guys want to see the space battles. Like the naval battles, I mean. Um, Look, I'm no good with guns. Mind taking the field for me? Because I think it's going to be a lot of the same thing over and over again. So if you guys want to see them, please let me know in the comment section. I'm going to have a little poll uh, in the comment section. A straw poll. So you will have to be voting there. Because I can do them on camera, but it's going to be the same thing over and over again. And I, I'm not, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know if you guys want to see that because that might just be super boring to watch. But so far, so good. We have set up the base. I'm still kind of figuring out those balloons. There's a little star over here. What does that Yo, mean? This area is custodians only. I may not. Ah, stuff those stupid rules. We're in big trouble here. Got a minute? Yeah. Sweet. I'm not really allowed to tell you this, but I've had it up to here with all that Arctic custodian lone wolf crap. Fact is, this climate stabilizer here has gone crazy. I'm not, like, any kind of expert, but I've been entrusted with monitoring this thing. Not much trade coming my way anyhow. And as messed up as it is, I thought we'd call in a corp to help us out. As long as no one tells Dr. Iceblock. Um... I'm not sure what to do. Find meteorological units on land. Oh, is that what the balloons are? This is gonna be the easiest mission in history. Balloon over here. Balloon over here. 
And a balloon over here. That? I'm amazing. Sorry. What did I get? I, I did ask, get something. But I'm in a squeeze. Know what I mean? A track population of scientists in the King Gate. Oh, that's my that's my area name. King Gate. Pro, 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 something something. I need to remember to finally buy that daylight lamp. So I need to scientist in here as well, and that's that's gonna be the next step from those Instead guys, right? We are all in the middle of a snowy desert. It's Cause, a decent Because because they are only protectors. So the, the the only thing we can progress on now, I need to do the mission. I need to unlock the the space elevator, and I need to start trading the it's things true. which they need, like Mankind the vitamin drinks, Even when it's hard. and stuff like that. Although I could do maybe this this factory about here, just to kind of check it out and see how that that works out. I can no, well, that kind of requires twelve in transport. It's better just to place it near next to this guy. Just for now, how is that looking? So they are producing the Nero... What was it called again? Nero implants, right? Well, this is pretty cool. Anyhow, everybody, you guys will have to let me know about the battles, right? Should we do the battles on camera or should I just do that off camera? You guys let me know and everybody's gonna be happy about it. The base is kind of thriving. I can also go back to my other base, right? Without any, like, biggies. I guess that's just gonna load up and everybody's gonna be happy. Or how does it work? New building types possible. Thank you. Community center. I can build that now as well. Yeah, look at that. So now we're just back in that base. And go up here again and into that base. May I do some shameless self-advertising? Got a trading post in this sector too. Please stop by, okay? Well, since you can't shut up, you can just talk then. Perfect. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next episode. Hit the like button if you did enjoy and leave some cool feedback have i done the right thing to choose this sector or not thank you and bye bye